the thing about her is she always has an incipient knowledge of what's really happening, but her behavior is what she wishes were happening. And then one of my favorite um, Rebecca lines ever um, is the thing where, where Paula says, just be yourself. And she says, <laughs> yeah. no, what? Why would I want to be that? And can I say my favorite thing um, ever done in editing on the show is an Aline call. Uh, in episode three, there's this scene with Greg on the bridge where Rebecca tries to win him back. She's like, let's get back together. Let's make this work. And originally, that scene was separate from the therapy scene. And Aline had the idea, the brilliant idea, so that you wouldn't, because it's, it's not the right thing she's doing. Like, she's winning this guy back. She just told this other guy she was pregnant. Like, this is not meant to be. It's a shit show. Um, and so she had the great idea to intercut it with the therapy scene and add this foreboding mu music under it. And I just thought that was Well, brilliant. it's funny. You know why we needed to do that? It, the reason it wasn't written that way and we needed to add it later, later <laughs> is because of that narrative of the other guy coming to you and you realizing it was him all along is so powerful that even if you consciously know that that is not right, it just played without it being uh, uh, you know, contrasted with Dr. Copey and her telling Dr. Copey in a clearly crazy story. It, you kind of went like, yeah, maybe you should run off with him because that narrative is so w deeply wired within us to feel like, oh, so that thing went away, so it must be this guy. And it was interesting to play with that and play against that because I think we do have this expectation of like, oh, so now she's going to choose John Cryer or whoever is the. There's so Which many. Which is the guy you root for? You root yeah. for you know we we wrote we wrote Greg so that you you root for him in in many ways, but it's not. Um, even though the Think audience knows that it's not a great idea, in the moment you sort of feel like, oh, run off with him. And it's interesting that that is so deeply wired within us.